Signs of Communism. Meet Tommy, doing schoolwork on Sunday afternoon with his father. You notice Tommy is not at all well. That's because Tommy has communism. How can Tommy's father tell his son has communism? He looks for the signs. Someone suffering from communism might loosen his tie, then ask for socialized medicine. If someone with communism sees you have money, he will attempt to take it, even though you had planned to start a small business. Dr. Johnston, I'm terribly sorry I caused John F. Kennedy to become a 93-foot-tall monster. I had hoped that my genetic experiments involving communism would benefit mankind. But instead, you created a giant who spreads the wealth around. Professor, I may just be a country doctor, but as I stand here wearing a stethoscope, I can't help but think that your creating a giant communist was a poor use of science. <laughs> The giant communist remains on the loose, doing to Wall Street what he could never quite do to Cuba. So many corporations and banks have been destroyed that the money may never again trickle down to us. And with no known cure for communism, the medical community remains powerless. Were you stepped on by the giant communist? No. The president's communism is infectious. All of these people are contaminated. You could sure go for some minimum wage right now. It's no use lingering, Dr. Johnston. There's no cure for communism. But I know what will cure her. Hmm. But this probably won't work for President Kennedy. Not even a giant Marilyn Monroe. Professor, there must be a way to cure communism once and for all. I have it. John, what is it? What is the cure for communism? The cure for communism is... A lemon. Yes. A lemon. How could I not have seen it? Professor, is there something in this lemon that will stop the giant? No, Jane. It's the idea behind this lemon. The idea of what this lemon could be. John, what's happening? The giant must have found out what your husband is doing. John, he left Chinese food? It means he's going to take you out! John, you don't have to stay. Run away. Jane, we may have only been married long enough to have three children, but you should know I can't do that. I cannot allow a giant who doesn't believe in supply and demand to be our president. Are supply and demand really adequate to determine value in the free market? Jane, must I shake you free of your womanly follies? When people demand to doubt capitalism, they are supplied giant communists. Yet, when those same people demand a savior, they are supplied John Johnston's. Oh, John, you didn't ask for the role of America's savior. 
but I've been cast to type. I'm betraying you. Professor! Why are you pointing that gun at us? Why are you kidnapping us? Why are you driving us somewhere? Why are we getting out here? Why are you taking us inside? Why are you sitting us down? Dr. Johnston, stop. Professor, what is going on? What's going on? The spread of communism. You see, I'm not just a professor. I'm a teacher. <gasps> and as head of the teachers union, I stand to benefit greatly from communism. Soon, I'll be rolling in those sweet, sweet union dues. But if you want the giant to succeed, why did you devote so much time to helping us understand the situation? Teacher. Oh. Wait till I finish speaking, then I'll take questions. That's what you think. Oh. Thought I wouldn't expect conflict in the battle against capitalism? Thought I wouldn't see this coming? Well, I did. I've had two men hiding in plain sight. It'll take more than laundry detergent to get these reds out. Oh, my men are easily bribed. Didn't think I'd see that coming? Then tell me why their guns have no bullets. Oh, I see you always wear a bulletproof vest. That's right. I have an exact duplicate. Spent years grooming him for this one exact moment. So I wore a bulletproof vest and... Darn. John, do you really think this is going to work? I know it will, Jane. Because if there's one thing a 93 foot tall man fears, it's a lemonade stand. He's drawn to it like a moth to Milton Friedman. But Jane, this lemonade stand has given us something. Something the giant can never, ever take away. Lower taxes. Oh, John! You mean starting a lemonade stand qualified as for a small business tax break and low taxes cure communism? Yes, Jane. But our taxes are only low enough to scare communists off. We must take what we learn from this ordeal and hold it dear. But above all, we must remember that America deserves better than a giant communist president. America deserves Richard Nixon.